everyone, Amethyst Ravensong here today to give you a book review. Um, the book we're going to be re reviewing today is Light is the New Black by Rebecca Campbell. Now I know this week I've talked a lot about how I really hate the love and light movement, so Light is the New Black seems a little weird, right? However, I don't like the love and light movement and we just pour love and light over everything and it would be fine. My path, which takes you on a journey through the shadow, is to get you through the shadow so that you are in control of the shadow so that you can live in the light without the shadow sneaking up and snatching you back down and screwing up your life. So it's not that I'm against the idea of love and light. That is my ultimate goal in my shadow work as well, to get to a place where you have a healthy balance healthy, <laughs> healthy balance between love and light and your animalistic shadow side. Balance is the key. And the real kicker is, is it actually is not possible to achieve true balance, but damn it, it's worth a shot. So Light is the New Black by Rebecca Campbell. Now this was her first book. Her second book, which was Rise, Sister, Rise, um, which I'll be reviewing next week, actually, was the one that I read first, Rise, Sister, Rise. And I liked Rise, Sister, Rise better than Light is the New Black. But Light in the New Black, Light is the New Black, w does have some really great information. So this book is actually all about people who want to work their light, who want to serve their highest purpose. And it has some information on how you go about doing that. And I really love her focus on authenticity um, because I'm all about authenticity. And so is she. She's really great about that. And I also love how she addresses the scarcity mentality, how we feel like if someone else is writing a book on shadow work, then I can't because it's already being done. That's nonsense. There is more than enough work to go around and we need everybody we can to make this shift, this consciousness, this planetary consciousness shift that she talks about that I agree is happening. I see it happening and we need everyone on board. So I love that she addressed that because I have fallen victim to that quite a bit. Like someone else is doing something similar to me, so I can't do it because it's already being done. But everybody does some everything differently in their own authenticity. And what works for one person might not work for another person. So we need all the positive energy going towards this shift as much of it as possible. And she talks about that and I really liked it. It took me a long time to read this book. Um, it was really slow going for me for some reason. And I think that had to do a lot with blocks in me. And that's a beautiful thing about books like this is your reaction and your interaction with the information can be a really wonderful indicator as to what's going on in you. Um, I breezed through Rise, Sister, Rise. This book took me forever because I felt like I had to process the information. It was information that was blowing my mind and it took time. Whereas Rise, Sister, Rise, I was already kind of on that vibration, but it was just expanding on those principles. So I just shot through it. So I will say that you're going to want a pen because she's going to ask you stuff and you're going to fill stuff in. Like you can see, I have written all over in this. And I also like to highlight, um, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but active reading is really a beautiful practice. And I highly recommend it, especially with literature like this. Like highlight what stands out to you right in the margins. These margins, margins. <laughs> I might be a little hungry. <laughs> But when you're reading a book that you're reading to build yourself spiritually or build yourself as a person to develop or grow, get active in your reading. Write in that book. Highlight that book. 
put some notes in the side. Like, this is for you, so make it for you. So, I highly recommend this book. Um, it took me a little while. I did like the other one better. That's just me. But I really love Rebecca Campbell's work. You can also subscribe and get like her emails. And they're really good too. I highly recommend them. Especially if you are exploring the Divine Feminine. She talks about that quite a bit. And not only women are exploring the Divine Feminine. And to the men who are out there exploring their own Divine Feminine. And recognizing the Divine Feminine in women. And the value of that and are aligning themselves with that energy and are goddess worshipers, I salute you. I absolutely love you. Mwah. Have a good one, guys.